In Isaiah, for example, in Isaiah uh, 59, in verse, six, verse 15, the prophet says, True, Truth falls, and he that departs from evil makes himself a prey. And the Lord saw it, and it displeased him that there was no junction. And you know, truth has fallen. There is no truth today. Truth has fallen. And those that depart from evil make ourselves victims. And the Lord saw it, and it did it pleased him that there was no judgment. And verse 16, and he saw that there was no man and wondered that there was no intercessor. You know, what we need today is the church to get back to prayer, back, back to intercession. And, you know, I, I've always believed in the power of prayer. I, 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 I live by prayer. Prayer is, is my daily communication. And I can tell you that when I was in the prison, uh, there came a time when in that prison cell and the loneliness and the and the persecution and the suffering, I cried out to God, oh God, I cannot pray anymore because everything I ask for, there is no answer. It's as if the heaven is as brass shut up against me. And I said, oh God, if I can't pray, then I have nothing. I have no life. I have, Lord, it's as if you've turned your back on me. And it was then that God began to speak to me. And I was remembering the words of Jesus when the disciples said to him, Lord, teach us how to pray. And I said, Lord, teach me how to pray. And I learned the greatest lesson of prayer in my life in that prison cell. And when I began to sense that spirit and when I began to cry out to God, a miracle happened. It was as if the whole of the roof of the prison blew off and, and I could feel the, the, the presence of the angels and I could hear the worship and the music of heaven. I could hear the glory of God and the angels angels singing. It's the only time in my life I, I, I found such a song and such music and my soul was filled with the glory of God. And I remember I jumped up to my feet and I ran around that cell and I was singing at the top of my voice. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, how great thou art. And I sang the glory of God because I experienced in that prison and more of the glory of God than I've ever felt in any moment on earth. Why? Because suddenly I had that breakthrough in prayer. Why was I in prison? Because I was standing up for what I believed in and the authority of the word of God. And I challenge you, have the faith and the courage to stand for what you believe and let no man dictate to you. And Father, I just pray that those who are listening to this message will become strong in the face of persecution and they will lose their fear and Lord, that as they call upon you, you will reveal yourself to them in power to the glory of Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. 